Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Beige. If you're new here, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and turn on the post notification bell down below to be notified of all of my future uploads. So today's video is gonna be a tutorial on this wig sent to me from Eon Hair. I'll have all of their information, the promo codes, and the direct links to get this wig down below in the description box. So the wig that I was sent is a 13 by 4, 14 inch, 180% density, deep wave wig, and the hair color is number 27 Honey Blonde. The cap construction features four combs and an adjustable strap. So grabbing the wig and placing it straight onto my mannequin head, I do notice that the hairline is pre-plucked, but I would prefer it to be more um, of a gradual density. So I'm going to go ahead and pluck away some of that extra density along the hairline so that it could be thinner in the front and look a lot more natural. To do that, I'll be doing the beige method of zigzag plucking and parting. This step is always optional because the hairline already comes pre-plucked. If you are a beginner and not really comfortable with plucking your wigs, you can always skip this step. And here are the results from doing the beige method of zigzag plucking and parting along the hairline to thin out the density. Okay, so the next step is to tint the lace. I am using two different colors of lace tint. The first color is the color of my foundation, which I'll be spraying along the hairline portion of this lace frontal underneath the lace. And the second color is the color of my scalp, and I'll be spraying that one on the inner portion of the lace frontal. I'm gonna blow dry in between each layer and do two layers of each color of lace tint. This is going to create a custom color match when I put the wig on because I do not wear any wig caps underneath my wigs and I feel like doing this step makes it look a lot more natural. Okay, so now it's time to style this hair. I'll be grabbing a spray bottle of water, gel, as well as my Denman brush and a detangling comb. In small sections, I'm just gonna start off by detangling the hair, then grabbing my spray bottle of water and fully saturating the section then grabbing some gel and applying that to the hair. Using my Denman brush, I'm just going to brush through this hair to get these curls to pop. Of course, you see that the hair is more of a deep wave and not a curl, and I love curly hair. So I'm just gonna grab these blue perm rods and add them to the ends of the hair for some curl action. And by doing this, I'm gonna create more of a natural look because our hair has different textures throughout, and it's gonna give the illusion that my hair is just multi-textured, so. I love doing this when I have wavy hair and um, it just creates such a cool effect. Okay, so now that I am finished, I am going to allow this hair to air dry overnight. The next morning, I am just going to start by cutting away this extra lace, grabbing a pair of zigzag scissors. I'm going to carefully follow the natural curvature of this hairline and get rid of that extra lace. And then I'm gonna grab a hair oil, apply that to my fingertips. I'm going to unloosen these perm rods and then use my fingers to separate the curls.
All right, so now I'm just gonna prep my skin for install. I'm grabbing alcohol and cleaning off my forehead. Next, I'll be grabbing scalp protector from Walker Tape and applying that to my scalp. The adhesive of choice today is Wonder Lace Bond from Eben New York. I'm going to grab the wig so that I can have a very clear view of the under portion of the lace. I'm going to spray a very thin layer to the edge of the hairline and then blow dry for a few seconds. Next, I'm just going to grab the wig, place it on my head in its proper placement, just making sure that everything is lined up. And then I am going to place my headscarf on top of that to allow this lace to set. Twenty minutes later, I'm just going to remove my headscarf and see what we are working with here. Um, the hairline wasn't a perfect match for my hairline, so I see already that I'm going to have to add some baby hairs, and I did that off camera, removing my headscarf again just to see what we're working with again. Here is how it is looking. I would prefer for the roots to be darkened, so I'm just going to grab some black eyeshadow and use this shading brush to basically pack that color onto the roots so that it can look like that color is growing out. Next, I'm just going to grab my pick and pick this hair out at the roots and, you know, just swing my hair around a little bit and get this hair to look fluffy and big and curly fro-like. And I'll show you guys the results in just a second. And here are the results. Overall, I fell in love with the color and style of this wig. This is so funny because my hair is actually this exact color and my curls are like that at the end. So this is kind of reminding me of my natural hair when I first bleached it this honey blonde color. So I was obsessed with that. However, I do want to try this wig again in the future with an HD clean hairline because I feel like that kind of was missing from this look. But I love the color and I love the way that these curls look with the perm rods added at the ends. What do you think about it? Let's chat all things this wig, this color, the style, the curls, everything about this wig down below in the comment section. Give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you have not already. I'll have all of the information, the promo codes, and the direct links to this wig from Eon Hair down below in the description box. So don't forget to check it out before you leave and I can't wait to see you all in my next video. Bye guys. Yeah, that's right. It's Bezos. Ay, ay, ay.